Holy Week is really the most holy time of the Christian year. It's this time that we remember Christ's sacrificial love as he offered himself for us as an extension of God's gr grace and mercy to all of us, to the whole world. And one of the central elements of Holy Week is when we come to Thursday, Maundy Thursday, and it is all built around this new commandment that Christ gives, that you are to love one another even as I have loved you. And in fact, commandment is where we get the word mandi. It is sort of a, a slang way of saying commandment, a mandi, a mandatum in Latin. And that command to love one another as I have loved you is central to Christ's message and to our belief and our belief system as Christians. And of course, it is embodied in the Eucharist, that most holy of acts that we do as Christians when we come together, uniting our hearts and our minds with each other and with God in the Holy Communion. And, it, and on Maundy Thursday, we remember that last night that Jesus had with his closest friends and that institution of the Lord's Supper or of Communion or the Holy Eucharist, all names for the same act. And it has become a tradition that goes back well over a thousand years that on this evening, on Maundy Thursday, we sing or at least recite this poem, the Ubi Caritas, which is a poem of, we're really not sure exactly what the origins are. It's been with us for well over a thousand years, but these very familiar words where there is love and charity, wherever love and charity exist, God is there. We have bound ourselves together in love of the living God. So we will have all of these elements at play in our service this Thursday at six o'clock. And we will gather together, the choir will sing the Ubi Caritas in a very beautiful setting by the 20th century, or the contemporary composer, English composer, Francis Pott. And then at the end of the service, after we celebrate the Eucharist, we have that ritual of stripping the altar as a way of showing that Christ allowed himself to be stripped of all of his um, otherworldly grandeur and became truly human and in fact completely desolated on earth as a sign of how much God's love reaches out to us, that Christ was willing to even be sacrificed for us as a sign of love. And in this very moving rite, when the clergy will take all of the elements out of the sanctuary and strip the altar and take all of our liturgical accoutrements away, and during that time, the choir will be singing. For several years during this time on Monday, Thursday, the choir has sung a setting of God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And that beautiful juxtaposition of kind of what is being done and what it means is a really wonderful way for us to experience that liturgy. This year, however, we will be singing a piece that is new to our choir. It's a South African folk tune that has been arranged by a South African choral conductor, and it's Indodana. And the text talks about, it's a very brief text, but it talks about God gave his son to the world and that we as humans would not have him. In fact, Christ was crucified. And yet in this beautiful South African way, it's not this, what we would think of as this um, painful lament. It's actually a very soulful and healing musical statement of this. There are these wailing cries, but they're not, they're almost more soothing. Um, and we, we find that this will be a really um, important way or, or a very powerful way for us to experience this moment and to meditate on the sacrificial love that Christ showed and a way for us to in, enter into that very holy space. So as we continue through that Holy Week journey that started on Palm Sunday, continues on Monday, Thursday through to Good Friday and then ending with Easter Day, we hope that you will join us at 6 p.m. on Monday, Thursday.